morning, Mr. Carter. How are you, sir? Would you mind if I left this here? I'll pick it up later, sir. Thank you, sir. Good morning, sir. Do you mind, sir? Uh, thank you, sir. What has happened to young Willie Macon? Thank you, sir. Why, it wasn't three months ago he stood right there. Well, Pop, you won't be seeing me around this town for quite a while. Is that so? Yep, I'm off for not sorry to be going either. I think I like it over in Jersey. Boy? Well, take care of yourself, Pop. Well, you'll do our best to get along with our two, Willie Rankin. Nice little place you got here. We like it better without the gum chewing. And a cigarette for the time being. Oh, sure, sure. We also like yes sir better than sure. Pick up that butt and that gum and put them where they belong. Hey, Barbara, what can a guy do around here in his spare time? Spare time? What's that? But if you've got any experience, you might be able to get on our football team we have a band, if you can play an instrument. And there's a choir for those who can sing. Everybody likes the rec hall. But be sure to save time for a letter home every week. Aside from that, you've got the whole Atlantic Ocean to swim in. You'll find enough to do. Don't worry about that. And nine, distal and mesial. We'll have to teach you how to take care of your teeth, Bacon. Report back Wednesday at 1600. Attention in the back! At ease. Men, as your company commander, I want you to know I expect you to be on our company at least three times during your 12 weeks of recruit training. You go about it by being the best company in every weekly inspection and competition. At barracks inspection, I want to find everything in perfect order. No Irish tenants, no clutter, any place. At personnel inspection, I want your clothes, shoes, personal appearance to be for old. When your sea bags are inspected, I want to see square edges on all rows, and I want to hear them when they are thumped. I want to see a crew developed in this company that can win the weekly boat competition. You are known as Dog Company. I wish you to be known as Top Dog Company. What's the matter? Homesick? I'm all right. Besides, I couldn't be homesick. What makes you think you're immune? I wanted to get away from my hometown, and I got away, didn't I? 
Why should I want to go back? We always want to go back. We always want to go back and make the folks sit up and take notice. Wouldn't you like to do that? Yeah. I guess so. Well, you'll do it. You're on the right track now. By the way, my name's Critchfield. Stanley Critchfield. What's yours? Bacon. They call me Willie back home. Oh. Well, good night, Bill. Good night, Critch. You've got to swim the length of this pool before you can graduate. You'll have 12 push-ups to do in one minute. If you can't do them, you'll have to come back and try again. Ready? Down. One. Down. Two. Down. Three. Down. Four. Down. Five. Now up the rope and touch the ring. Come on down, son. Man, this is your aptitude test. What you do with it is important in determining your job in the Coast Guard. Opportunities for attendance at advanced technical and training schools are practically unlimited. We have a need for every conceivable type of talent, such as electronic technicians, aviation machinist mates, engine men, yeomen, storekeepers, Commissary man and radio man. Hey, Bill. What's the scoop on your test? Take a look. The way you're doing, I hate to think what's going to happen when you hit your hometown on that first leave. I can see it all now, just as plain. Knock it off. <laughs> I'm sorry. Do it again anytime. I didn't know you were in the Navy, Willie. Better look again, Joe. It's the Coast Guard. The oldest seagoing armed force in the United States, established in 1790. It has a tradition you can be proud of. Oxford, I won't know how to act. Who wants acting in church? Just be yourself. Come on. Hi, Mom. But your telegram said tomorrow. Son, let me take a look at you. Willie, you look positively dangerous.
Thank you. 